What's up, people? We are back with more of Miniature Garden. Two more endings to go, and both of those will be more focused on Komiya Ryo uh, in terms of like the characters. So we, we got her good ending and then one bad ending, I think. It's sort of about her. And it's all about basically this one choice that we haven't really picked in any of the other cho uh, choices in the other endings so far. And this is uh, where you're curious about Itsuki and Komiya, what they were talking about. When we were, I think, like on the second time on the roof. Because obviously all the other endings were primarily focused on Sumika and Ayana. So we always had to make this choice. But now we're getting more into the action. More into the mystery itself and Komiya's backstory. So let's pick this option. I was curious about what that all was about between Itsuki and Komiya. It was as though they were on another paradigm from the rest of us. I wonder if I was just imagining things. So we skip just a tiny, tiny bit, and this is the moment right before we go down into into the basement thingy. Because at first we decide to always stay together with Ayana and Sumika, but now we're actually going downstairs with both with Itsuki and and uh, Komiya for the very first time, basically at that point where they find the hole and then Itsuki makes up that story of seeing a dead body inside there to try and bait Sumika. So now we're actually going with them. I was a bit worried leaving those two on their own, but I really wanted to see what was down there with my own eyes. The only thing I'm hoping for is that Sumika does not go batshit crazy and try to kill Ayana while they're alone here. It's the only thing I'm a bit scared of. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Just come running straight towards us, Ayana. I'll try to be back as quick as I can. Be careful over there, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll be careful of you, Sumika. The three of us continue downstairs. The corridor had no lights we could find, so we used our mobile phones to light up our way. Itsuki voiced his concern in his usual laid-back tone. It sounded like rather than wanting to know because he was worried, he simply would like to know if someone knew the answer, and that was all. Anyway, the stairs weren't that long, and we found ourselves in front of another set of doors. What if whoever opened this is hiding behind those doors? Yes. Yes, not if I go. Whoa, 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 I'm not going first, dude! That's not why I came along! Really? Come on! Come on, Ryo, you two! Don't tell me you're siding with Itsuki on this. Seriously? Did, did I just come in here to be like the bodyguard? Alright, I'm going in first. I gave the two an indignant look and put my hand on the doorknob. Fucking peer pressure, man. I slowly opened the door and took a quick peek inside. It didn't seem like anyone was inside the dark room beyond. I don't think anyone's there. I opened the door properly this time. The room was just full of shells with what seemed to be files. Itsugi said so as he looked over the countless records. I checked some myself. It seemed like this place had everything, from the year the school was established, to today. I thought these days everything was digital, but apparently our school kept physical records too. We're kind of an old fashioned that way. Twice the trouble? What do you mean? I wasn't quite following, so I urged him to explain. Yeah. Is that so? It seemed like he was thinking about something similar to myself. Yeah, you're a student, you're not supposed to know that. Komiya voiced the question I was wondering about before I could. Hmm. Sure, that sounds like a valid excuse, Itsuki. Okay, okay, you talked your way out of that one for now. So. How much stuff was this committee responsible for anyway? Uh, yeah. Oh, 
I was about to check one of the files myself when he interrupted me. Uh -oh. So here they find out the exact same thing as well. Huh? He's not there. But why? Yeah. Itsuki handed me the file. Well, we know why. <laughs> I tried looking for her name myself, but I couldn't find it either. I tried looking for our names instead. I couldn't find Komia, but I, Ayana, and Itsuki were most certainly there. And for whatever reason, there was a red line striking out mine and this Ayana's names. There's actually a whole bunch of stuff that's bothering me about this. Found it in the very first book. Komiya handed us a file that she found on her own during our conversation. There was definitely Shib Shibaya Sumika written on it, but damn, did this thing feel old. And it was struck out with a red line like my name was too. This thing is from the founding year. That would make Sumika a grandmother, holy fuck. What the hell was she doing here now then? Did the name simply overlap or something? But she wasn't in this year's record. Even this didn't seem to phase him much. Oh, nothing phases that fucking dude. I've got no idea. You think we can take this out? Yeah, but... Um, you know this is not normal circumstances. I gave Itsuki an exasperated look. Well, I thought to show it to Sumia, uh, Sumika and Ayana for starters. Yeah, how are you gonna explain this, huh, Sumika? Okay, let's borrow this thing for now then. Did you figure out anything regarding your note? The second one she found with the disjointed pieces of sentences of the girl exists in the stairs to the storage room. Yeah. Komiya pulled out the other memo from her bag and handed it to Itsuki. The mystery takes the dead violated by the narcotic into its prison. Fuck, my screen such as the root of the horror. So I feel like this is where it all began. It, it feels like everything, this entire shit, all started with Sumika dying, right? She was sort of the first, very first victim of all of this. And I think that's what they mean with like the root of the horror. Because the mystery of, the mystery takes the dead violated by the narcotic into its prison. I guess the prison is this place, or like the hole that they dug into the floor, or in the, in the wall rather. Narcotic is obviously the medicine. Dead violated, it's probably the, the dead body, right? And the mystery is her like freaking out, or this entire huge mystery that, that, that spawns after Sumika's whole death. You know, the one that takes every single person's, well not every single person, but a life at the minimum every single year, during or after the miniature festival. Itsuki continued in a calm voice after reading the note again. What? What do you mean? Yep. That's exactly what it is. Yep. I couldn't retort to that. Mm-hmm. Good plan, good plan. We decided to leave the storage room with the two files in hand. The whole thing about Sumika is crazy. 
But what do you think about those red lines crossing out mine and Ayana's names? How the fuck would I know? Not really. Means we're next. <laughs> oh. So you're saying I'm a goddamn zombie now? Whoa, 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 whoa. Are they actually accusing me of being dead as well? I, I never really considered that part. Are they really thinking, oh, everybody with a red line is dead? I mean, it's, it's the thing that we have in common, right? So you gotta look at similarities. Oh, Sumika has a red line through her name. So do you. Like, we think Sumika is a zombie or, or she's a dead or she's ghost. Maybe you are too, Yasunari. It's a somewhat reasonable conclusion to draw, but obviously they're, I think, wrong at least, right? Because the red line just means that we, we are test patients, test subjects here. I mean, it could be that. I'm not completely ruling it out, but I'm more inclined to believe the other part. Cause why else in Ayana, like, we were actually ab uh, we were actually able to leave this place, right? I feel like if we were actually dead, no way would would the Ayana ending have happened the way it did. No way would we have been able to, to escape from that place, even to end up at Rio's mother and everything. So, yeah. I mean, it's it's possible, but I don't think it's the, it's the case. Yo, quit it already, guys, okay? Thank you, Shinigami Ryo, if we were dead. <laughs> but they're actually acting like I'm actually dead though, like I'm really a ghost. Come on! <laughs> what? There's nothing gratifying about that and, and your sense of humor is terrible, okay? And you guys seem to be getting along on this odd vibe so well lately. It is starting to positively creep me out. I tried to dispel my anxiety with a joke or two as we returned to the corridor. Please don't tell me they're gone. Please don't tell me they're gone. Please don't tell me they're gone. They're fucking gone. Huh? There was no one there. It's expected, of course. I don't know. Did something happen while we were down there? I looked around, but the corridor was silent as a grave. Mm -hmm. Because you want to do something, huh, Itsuki? Ah, Itsuki! He ran away just like that. Me too. Yeah. I don't want her to die. Itsuki was pretty all over the place. Not even listening to what I had to say. But this girl was really weird in her own right with the speed she seemed to adapt to any situation. I know it wasn't the right time to think about shit like that. But... Still, feeling bothered by all this. I followed Komiya upstairs. Komiya and Itsuki. Those two were handling this situation way too well. But that's because they came into this sort of half knowing what to expect, right? Whereas us three, the other three, were just thrown into it and just like, Oh, what the fuck is happening? Oh shit, no, no. We, we came in there not knowing anything about it. So for them two, it's just like, yes, they're adapting to things on the fly very quickly as well. But they half kind of knew what was going to happen to some degree well we'll probably have to go to the science room again to find a body like i don't want to say it's ayana's body or sumika's body because i don't know which one it is yet like it's very possible that it's ayana but i don't want that to be the case of course <sighs> huh Komiya suddenly shot me a question as we were climbing the stairs. Well, I guess I know him well enough? Hmm? What about it? 
I still had it with me. I thought she wanted to look at it again. I was about to hand it to her, but that didn't seem to be the case. As she continued, Ooh, Mark? You mean that red line? Well, in that case, your name wasn't in the registry to begin with. Mm -hmm. I mean, we know this is the truth from, from some of the information in the other endings, but from Yasunari's perspective, you can't be 100% certain about this yet that she's telling the truth about it, right? I see. Do you actually know what that mark means? You can tell me, you can tell me, Ryo. Komiya fell silent for a moment and continued to climb the stairs. But as we reached the top, she suddenly turned around to me. Yes, Nari. Whoa, whoa, really close. Wh what? I stopped, startled by her sudden action. She drew so close to me, our heads almost pressed against each other. What? Why do I feel like I'm at the doctor's or something? Oh, did your head hurt? Did you did you feel nauseous? Blah blah blah. Asking all these questions. Huh? I tried thinking back. I was pretty panicked when Ayana disappeared, but that was about it. I was pretty tense right now, but I don't think Komia was talking about that. I don't think so. So. But Yep, I don't because I'm special. I remembered how weird Ayana was acting back then on the stairs. Yeah, it seemed like she was a bit unstable. Tell us, Ryo. Yeah? Test subjects? <gasps> Ayana! Yes, you're alive! Ayana is alive! Hallelujah! Ayana's voice suddenly reached us from the corridor. What happened? Where the hell did you go? Where did you run off to? I see you're really glad to see me, huh? <laughs> you... Yeah, right. What? She dead? Sumika has... Oh wow, okay, so she basically did the same thing when I was there as well. So you were chasing her? I mean, you could have shouted downstairs like, Sumika's acting weird, come let's go after her. Komiya seemed to fall into thought for a moment. Nope, and that's why Itsuki went alone to kill her, blah blah blah. She started shaking and ran away. It sounded just like what Komiya described to me moments ago. And Sumika's name wasn't in this year's record. What the hell was going on here? Oh, she's actually alive? <gasps> Sumika's voice suddenly reached us from above. Wow, Sumi. Okay, things are kind of really different right now. Because at this point in the other ending, Sumika is pretty much dead right now. I looked up to see Sumika peering down at us from the top of the stairs with a smile on her face. Don't go close to her. Komiya caught Ayana by the hand before she could dart forward. You weren't there when we came back, so we were looking for you. Ayana says you ran away or something. Which is what? And what is that? Sumika slowly descended the stairs. Oh god. Yep, we figured it, kind of, for the most part, we figured it out. 
予想はついてる。As Sumika drew closer, Komiya started to back down, trying to maintain the same distance. Sumika seemed cheerful, but something was off. Oh god, Sumia, what are, Sumika, what are you planning? And then there was that thing about her name. Unnerved by the whole thing, I too covered Ayana with my back and started to back down. Seeing what? Well, identity? Ayana whispered to my ear, asking what was going on. Sumika, your name wasn't in this year's school registry. Is that related to what you're doing right now? <laughs> Ayana let out a bewildered gasp while Komiya regarded Sumika with cold eyes. Killed? Okay, okay, keep your distance. What the fuck? How can she go from fucking batshit crazy to looking so damn adorable within the span of five seconds? I think that was what all of us would have liked to know. Sumika, yeah, that's an answer. I mean, we kind of got an answer in the Sumika round, right? Sort of. It's just because she was freaking out. Uh oh, come on. I can't stand those creepy eyes, man. It's really freaky. All emotions suddenly left Sumika's features. She squeezed the words out in an antagonistic tone. We care. Where the fuck did she magically get that knife from? I mean, she's been carrying it one all along, but like it suddenly magically appeared. Her voice shot an octave or so higher and pulling a knife out of nowhere. She suddenly jumped at Komiya. Don't attack Komiya! Komiya! <clears throat> I was faster than her though, and caught her arm holding the knife from behind. <laughs> no! Don't you dare start killing my other waifus! Sumika was struggling, trying to escape my arms. She was stronger than she looks. She's pretty dang strong for a ghost. <laughs> Komiya, utilizing the moment Sumika was distracted, Snatched a knife out of her hand. You're a teamwork, Komiya. Nice. <gasps> Got him. Mm -hmm. Killing us is not gonna solve anything. Revenge? <laughs> Sumika shook my arms off. I ran up the stairs again, disappearing from sight. Uh, Don't go after her, she's not who you think she is. Ayana, who seemed to have been frozen in shock while the whole thing went down, suddenly came back to her senses and was about to chase after Sumika, but stopped after taking the first step. She looked in the direction Sumika disappeared one more time. Yes, tell us, Ryo. Yeah. Ayana came closer to us. Nobody gives a shit about Itsuki. Omiya started to walk on her own. I was a bit worried about Itsuki, but decided to follow her. I finally realized that our situation might have been a lot more complicated than I could ever have imagined. Alright, tell me what I don't know yet. Come on, Ryo. Oh, what? This is Sumika's perspective. Oh god. The mirror in the middle of the stairs leading to the storage room. 
I moved it aside to confirm the presence of a hole behind it. I didn't want to remember. That was the space I spent the final moments of my life in. Oh god. Noticed by no one, unable to understand what was even going on. It was only dark and scary and agonizing and sickening. But then, what was I doing here now? Oh shit. Tsuki? Don't start flirting with her. He descended the stairs with a gentle smile on his face. <laughs> God damn it, why does she look so cute? That face. He patted my head. Yep, he knows, Sumika. He suddenly squatted and took a peek inside the hole. Did he just ask if I died here? Why was he acting so calm about this? I'm actually just starting to think like Itsumi is just incapable of showing emotions, okay? I feel like he feels emotions, but he just can't visibly show them on his face. Yep, that's what she's thinking. The tone of his voice had suddenly changed. Dude, oh god. His fucking eyes as well. It's like he's hypnotized. Dude! The next moment, Orimoto Senpa's hand seized my neck. There was a cold smile on his face. Why is he going off after Sumika though? That's one thing I don't really understand, right? Like, yeah, okay, Sumika kind of has something to do with it because she's also a test subject with it, which is indirectly somewhat related to what happened to his parents. But I feel like if he really wanted to kill someone, either myself or Ayana would be higher on the list. But I don't know, maybe he he probably just wants to kill us all, right? So he's just like, alright, let's start from the bottom and work our way up. So he starts with Sumika. Or he figured out that Sumika is indeed sort of the the main source of what why all of this is happening right now. I couldn't breathe. That's that. <laughs> Ugh, I can't breathe! I never even thought about such a thing, was what I wanted to say, but I couldn't squeeze my voice out. Seriously? Are you seriously saying she deserved that, okay? I don't give a fuck who you are or what you did, okay? I don't think anybody deserves that much of like what Sumika went through, okay? Like, even if you yourself killed somebody, killed tens of people, okay? You yourself just deserve the death penalty or whatever, you know? You don't deserve to be fucking locked up in a hole, a tiny asshole, blindfolded, and there just to starve to death, okay? Like, that, that, I don't know. I feel like I wouldn't wish that upon my worst enemy. That's just too fucking cruel. could do nothing but stare at his wry smile filled with contempt. But that proved to be less than helpful as I soon started to feel my consciousness draw away. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is... 
It's quite a unique thing. Not many people die twice, that's for sure. He actually did it. Oh, dude. Fuck. He's dead? It, it sure sounded like it, right? <laughs>